from the number that you wear on, on, your, on your jersey to you know just the way people have talked about this one guy being such a luminary in the game and you trying to chase it. How do you put in the words passing Michael in, in such a, a statistic that you know has a lot of stature in this game? Um, I think, well, first of all, you know I wear the number because of Mike. Uh, I think I fell in love with the game because of Mike, just seeing what he was able to accomplish. Um, but I felt like Mike was so, you know, when you're growing up and you're seeing Michael Jordan, you, you, it's almost like a god. So I didn't ever believe I could be Mike. So I started to focus myself on other players and, and other people around my neighborhood um, because I never thought that you could get to a point where Mike was. Um, so I think that helped shape my game. And um, I think the, the biggest thing for me sitting here today after breaking the all-time scoring record in playoff history is that um, I did it just being me. I don't, I don't have to score the ball to make an impact in the basketball game. And that was my mindset. You know, when I started playing the game, I was like, if I'm not scoring the ball, how can I still make an impact on the game? And um, has carried me all the way to this point now and is going to carry me for the rest of my career um, because scoring is, um, is not number one on my agenda. And at the end of the day, for, for, for my name to come up in a discussion with the greatest basketball player of all time, uh, it's, like, it's like, wow. Like I said, I've, I did I did pretty much everything that MJ did when I was a kid. I shot fadeaways before I should have. I, I wore a leg sleeve on my leg and folded it down so you saw the red part. For no reason. I wore black and red shoes with white socks. I wore short shorts cause you, so you could see my undershorts underneath. But I did everything Mike did, man. I wanted to be Mike. And uh, so for my name to come up in any discussion with Michael Jordan or Kareem and all these great guys that has paved the way for myself and Tristan and Kev and Swish, it's like, so it's just a wow factor. I don't really have nothing to say. You said that trying to be like Mike was impossible in your kicks. He's like a god. But yeah. what would it mean to you for kids now to say they want to be like LeBron? Um, that's, I mean, that's all part of the plan. It's been part of the plan since I uh, really started taking this game serious to say, how can I get the youth to uh, feel like passing the ball is okay? Making the pass, making the extra pass is okay drawing two defenders and no matter if you win or lose and you make the right play, it's okay. And, um, you know, because like you said, scoring the ball is so heralded in our sport. And um, I just, I want the fundamentals of the game to be as great as they can be. And if some kid or a group of kids from the West Coast to the East Coast to the Midwest to the South and everything in between all around the world can look at me and say, well, I made the extra pass because LeBron made the extra pass. So I got a chase down block and I didn't give up on the play because LeBron didn't give up. Uh, that would mean the world to me. And um, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens.